part two. This is your brother Ray Higgins. They forced Christmas on you. Why they gave us Christmas? That's the topic. Why? But before we get into it, let's pay all due respects to the Creator. Because without the Creator of the universe, got to show them appreciation and respect. Y'all need to start practicing praying, meditation, and showing the respect to the Creator and the love that He had for us and the love that we have for the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Ah, moon. Peace, peace, peace. Just for anyone you want to know what I was doing, basically I was giving praises to the to the Creator. You can find a lot of these things when you deal deal with ancient times. You can get on your knees if you choose to. You can put your hands up and give it praise, raise the signification of you giving the Lord the Creator all due respects. When I say the sun rises, because the sun rises every morning. Assalamu alaikum. It's a greetings. It's a greetings to all my brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses. I say morning in the English version, that it is morning. And I'm saying good morning to you as well as to everyone else. So understand the concept. So when you see me do that all the time, when you see me reflecting, I am paying respects to the Creator. And also, uniting us together by using the words of Alaikum of greetings to you. Those words is Islam. Let me tell you before we get into it real quick, you need to start understanding different languages, different institutions dealing with the faith system. You need to understand these things. Stop thinking one concept is all you need. When you walk up with a brother, something like, like me, I can say Salam. Hebrew is like Salam, Salam, my brother, Salam. I know that's Hebrew. Dealing with the Jews. Hotep. What is Hotep? Hotep is another significance to say, How you doing? It's recognizing you. Hotep. Is comedic, which you call Egypt. Assalamu alaikum is dealing with the Muslims, Islamics. Of course, you go good morning, dealing with Christians, the Moors, so on and so forth. When you understand these different dialogues, and then you see that the melanin people have interpreted and used these words, it was melanin people from different arenas around the world. You do your studying, you understand that. You will be able to greet them without being nervous or disrespectful. Let's get into it. Ray Higgins. This is part two. And before we get into it, I'll say it one more time. I'm not a preacher, pastor, reverend. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a Archaeologist, I'm not a scientist, mathematics, I'm not even an astronomer. But what I am is the messenger. And I'm here to catapult the information to you. And chocolate I'm in raw, my spiritual name. And I'm here to give you the message. Part two. These are the things they don't teach you in your church. And this is not to tell you to leave the church. You can go to church and make a difference by telling them and asking them different questions and the things that you learned, you can bring it to your institution and have the discussion to get to know more of you, your peoples, your heritage, and your culture. That's what we need to do. And 
And that's what I'm going to do. Let's get into it. the term psychopathology an application to why they gave us Christmas let me define it for you from the medical dictionaries a psychological impairment is characterized by a pattern of persistently learning that which hinders or damages the spiritual, intellectual, and or emotional development of an individual. Did y'all hear what I said? In other words, I'll read it again. A psych psychological impairment, impairment is characterized by a pattern of persistently learning that which hinders or damages the spiritual, intellectual, and or emotional development of an individual. <laughs> Resulting in a below normal, unhealthy, or unrealistic cognitive function. When you persistently learn a lot, you become psychologically impaired. Now, the term psychopathology is the study of the origin, development, and manifestations of behavior patterns and experiences which may be indicative of mental illness or psychological impairment. Psychopathology is when you study a person based on what they believe. That's what cognitive psychology is really all about. For example, the belief in and claims to a red-nosed reindeer may be considered as a psychopathological sign. The belief in or claims of a jolly fat man in a red suit who rides through the night sky in his sleigh being pulled by flying reindeer, landing on rooftops and squeezing himself down a chimney that is 12 inches in diameter without dirtying his suit and delivering gifts to children who did not pop or cry and were not naughty but nice. The claim to this activity or the belief in such a thing or even speak such a thing may be considered as psychopathological activity. Professionally speaking, the belief in bunny rabbits a psychopathological sign. Y'all ain't got no problem with what I'm saying, do you? I know you don't. Oh, Pastor, we don't believe that stuff anyway. Well, let me go a little deeper for you. The belief in or claims of a little white virgin-born child wrapped in swaddling clothes Check this out. Whose birth was so awesome that the stars in the sky changed their attitude. And summoned kings and wise men from the far east just to come look at him and pay homage to him 
and was really deep about it is these men rode on camelbacks oh, over a distance of almost 15,000 miles in less than two days. Psychopathological song, and you suffer from mental illness. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the most powerful, now hear this very well, and in fact, repeat this after me the most powerful, the most powerful and most effective, effective. psychopathology psycho is the belief in something. Want it to exist. Oh my goodness, the brother Ray Higgins dropped it. And this is what so many of our peoples do today. You want these things to exist, you want these things to, um, to, 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 to be in existence. So you can believe it. So you can believe it. You want to be part of the world. Some of you literally sit there and go, oh, I'm tired of being black. I'm tired of um, black this and black that. You literally die, you, 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 you degrade yourself, degrade your heritage, degrade who you are, your identity. Because you want to be part of the world and its system of things. Excuse me. This is what you do. And you degrade yourself. You go, well, I'm fine. I'm, I'm living good. As long as you do what you want, I can do whatever I want to do. This is what they told you to do. This is how they operate. Look how so many of our people's lost in the wilderness. Hmm? Here these holidays about to come up, and all you told them about, oh, I gotta get this money for Christmas. I gotta get money. You don't care if your kids is bad, good, or ugly. You don't care the fact that your own people betray you. And, oh, our own people betray us, man. Really? They're gonna sit there and get mad at you because you don't wanna celebrate Christmas no more. You don't wanna be part of that fake Thanksgiving. That fake Christmas. Huh? Huh? What? I hear you. Your thoughts. Your thoughts. What? You listen to the fake doctrines. They've this, this has been going on for hundreds of years. Thousands of years. Even before Jesus. Yorkshire. Haru, these are all the different names they call, he was called. Horus. When you do your research, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But think about what I'm saying to you, gods and goddesses, brothers and sisters. You want to believe it. You want to believe it so bad you do these things. So as a brother Ray Higgins is dropping the science, and I'm just in navigating it into a smaller firm for the those who are not really grasping. Think about it. Let's get in. Let's put that work in there. Oh, 
Christmas. You must understand that they, meaning the pagans, to be more specific, the Euro Gentile pagans, they psychologically induced the belief in a lie. Check this out now. And then after inducing the belief in a lie, they then glorified and glamorized the lie in such a way that it would create within us a desire and a longing for the existence of that lie. Let me run it back by you again. The reason why they gave us Christmas, the reason why they gave us Easter, the reason why they gave us Thanksgiving, the reason why they gave us Valentine's Day, you name it, but the two major religious holidays are Christmas and Easter. And the reason why they gave us this was to psychologically induce that lie into our psychoviscera. And how did they do that? They they, glor like they, they didn't want no children. Children are made to sit on Santa Claus's lap. Now, like I said on the radio this morning, I'm going to be honest with y'all. What I'm saying today, as far as I'm concerned, it has no bearing whatsoever to white folk. That's right. What I'm talking about came from the white man. That's right. This is their pagan practice. That's right. And if they want to practice that, then cool. That's them. It came from them. Maybe they find some kind of fulfillment in it. I don't know. But what I do know is it ain't for black folk. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes is not for black folks. It's not for you. It's not for the Native American Indians. It's not for any African American people, these are you know, the names they want to call you, is not for black people. These holidays was never meant for you. It has nothing to do of being a bigot, a racist. It has nothing to do with that. If you entwine these things together, then your mind is lost. It's none wrong separating yourself from an institution of religion that do not belong to you. You don't have to practice these things. You only practice what you was taught as a child. See, it was easy for me to convert it was simple for me to convert, simple fact, because under the toolage of the Jehovah's Witness, when I was basically a, uh, three, four years old, that I, that's as far as I can remember, three, four years old, I was a Jehovah's Witness, well, going at the time, and I used to ask questions why we don't celebrate Christmas and so on and so forth, none of these holidays, only Memorial, which is an Easter for y'all, whoever celebrates Easter. So, it was easy for me to convert, but it was hard to convert to get out of the Jehovah's, Wis the Jehovah's Witness and the Christian entities on lock because I was just like y'all. Real talk. I was just like you. I was undecipherable. I was scared. I was nervous. I was like, I held on to my Bible. 
I've showed you how my Bible playing test. I got more than one Bible. Plus, I got Bibles on my, my phone. Many different Bibles. The Quran. The Torah. The, 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 the King James. The New World's Translation. I got the Book of Enoch. The Book of Jubilee. The Lost Bible. The Lost Scripture Bible. Books, excuse me. The Lost Books. This is all the apps. They have all these things. So y'all should never be able to say, I ain't got no Bible. You say that because you don't want it. You don't want to read it. You don't want to get none of these books and read. So I understand it was an easy convert for me to leave this pagan stuff alone because I already was doing it. So for those who has been practicing these pagans, holidays, especially Easter and Christmas and all these other things, you've been doing it for so long, so you're trying to hold on to it and you being co-native, dishonest, you also institutionalized in all these practices. You're saying to yourself, it ain't hurting nobody. It ain't hurting you. Yeah, but you're passing on these practices that don't belong to you. These practices was forced upon our ancestors. And our ancestors swallowed it in and then began to practice these pagan religion, these holidays, and so on and so forth. Understand this. They're not going to tell you none of these things in church. A black church really should be telling you this. Quite frankly. Quite frankly, a black church should be explaining these things to you. Your Sunday school or whatever you got, Wednesday school, um, Sunday morning prayer, you should be unknowing these factors. No black church should be talking about Christmas and Easter and all these things. They know it's pagan. They know the, the false doctrine. But they want to be part of the world. Because they, they don't want to know their heritage. They don't want to know the ancient civilization. Because they feel if they know these things, they're going to have to reconstruct the way they think. What's wrong with this? They need to start doing pilgrimage and going to Egypt, which is Kemetic, Going to Africa, do a little pilgrimage. Go on a, uh, a trip. Ask y'all crazy, do these trips in the summertime, twice in the summer. Download Ask y'all crazy. To this day, he still do pilgrimage to Africa, to Egypt. Come at it. To get you to understand who you are. And if anyone of you Native Americans, you need to go see who you are. Your great-great-grandmother and grandfather, they know who they are. If you ever noticed your great-grandmother and grandfather and them really didn't participate in such things, because they knew the truth. You ain't going to learn this in these institutions. Because they institutionalize. You got still black classes to this day, men and women, who sit up there and kiss an image of a white Jesus. 2017, all this information that's here, that's available in our hands, and nobody wants to look. Because they're co-native. You're co-native. you institutionalized. You believe, I can do whatever I want. And you're going to pass that on to your kids, who are all the future. Let's get back to Ray Higgins. We're about to break that down some more. Let's do it. Not from us, it's not for us. Why am I saying that? Because we're talking about pagan practices that were created by a non-spiritual people. And the most damaging thing you can do to a spiritual people is have them to suffer from a psychological impairment by taking on non-spiritual ways. Oh, this is making sense to y'all. I found out that too many black folk want the Christ mass. 
of the Roman Catholic Church. Too many black folk long for the Christ Mass. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Too many of you. Too many black folk crave for the Christ Mass. That's Woo. what used to be called, y'all. Real we talk. Change to Christmas. Real talk. Teach it. Teach it. In fact, our people who suffer from this psychopathology literally need it to exist. Hear that? Why do they need it to exist, Pastor Ray? Because their psychological impairment, their psychopathology demands it. Hear that? I just told you the most powerful and most effective psychopathology is the belief in something simply because you want it to exist. It doesn't exist, but you want it to. Now, remember that when you try to free your African brothers and sisters' minds. When you try to let them know that they're believing in something that Greco Roman bishops made up in the year 325 AD at the Nicene Council. When you try to tell them that and they attack you, understand that's their psychopathic behavior. They don't know it. And you know why they don't know it? Because the masses are suffering from the same psychological impairment. The same thing. The masses, the people, the people. Oh. The demand for the existence of the lie. Oh, we gonna get into this. We gonna get into this. Oh, we gonna get into it right quick. Part two is almost over. But before I drop this, move on to part three. What I told you. I told you it's gonna get deep, right? All right. I want you. I want you to understand why you act the way you act. Why you participate in these such things. Because you demand, you need to know, you got to know. And I'm not trying to disrespect no women, but women, they are more creative than it's going to happen. I'm going to celebrate. They are more intrigued and more want and to celebrate these holidays, especially if they got children. And they will go, oh, my mother and my father, they have participated in these things since I was a child. They will convince their loved ones. They will convince their husbands. They will convince you. Why are you not celebrating these holidays? They convince you you need to go to church. They convince you that you need to go to church because you need God. The only one I love is God, which is the name of is Jesus. Now the question is, at that point, is what Jesus you talking about? Because if you know the history of Jesus, you ain't going to be talking like that too much. That's two different stories. If you had watched my program, you would know. But just like the brother Ray Higgins, the elder, completely stated, you want it. You got to know. You got to have this. Because you act like you lost without it. So many of you I like you lost without it. This is part two on Chocolate Lemon Rock. Well, part three is about to drop in here. Get ready. Deuces.